Hello, today I'm just going to show you guys real quick how to do the formatting for this class. These are the basic MLA requirements that you would use in any English class. And I did provide a formatting sheet on D2L, but just in case you're having trouble going through all the process, just want to show you real quick. So as you can see, all of its detail here very clearly, but I also know that's a lot of text that isn't maybe the most helpful way of processing this. What I've also provided for you you go to the second page, is a sample of exactly what your paper should look like. As you can see, it starts with student name, first line, very easy, then instructor name, course, date, notice how the date is formatted, then on the fifth line is your title, subtitle if you wish, then you start your essay, the only other component is last name and page number up in the corner. I'm going to show you how I would do this myself. So if I pull up a blank Word document, look like this. First thing I would do before anything else is to go up here and change the font. You do not want it in Calibri 11. For some reason, Microsoft made that the default. I do not know why, even all these years later. But hey, take it up with Bill Gates. But I would change it first. Times New Roman, size 12 before you do anything else. Then from there, very easy. So I'll use a pretend student name. Charles Bates, if you're a fan of Oliver Twist, you get the reference. Then I go to the next line, nothing changed, no skipped lines, type the instructor name. And the course that we're in English 101 is sufficient. Then the date, today is 8 June 2016, notice how that's formatted. You use the date that you start the assignment, when you finish it, I'm not really that concerned. And then on the next line, notice I'm not skipping any extra lines here. And I center it, and I put my title. Uh, for instance, if I was writing my Writing Exploration A, I don't just want the title of the assignment like that. It's not very exciting. Uh, so instead, maybe it could be something about the story that I'm writing. So the trouble with apostrophes. Intriguing, right? Now from there I go justify it to the left. I would indent and then start my essay. That's it. Normal. Now there's one other thing. This is where it gets tricky with the header, the last name and page number. It's actually a lot simpler than people think. All you do is take your mouse up to the top, the document, and double click, and you're in what's called the header. Anything you put here will reappear on every page. And we want to be justified to the right. So we go to home, justify over here. And I type my last name, in this case Bates. I can, you know, want to format that in Times New Roman, size 12 as well. For some reason, it doesn't change it with the rest. Then I hit a space. Then I need my page number. If I just type the number 1 here, well, guess what? When I get to page 2, the computer didn't know that I wanted that to be a change. So instead of just putting the number 1 after my last name in the space, I go up to where it says Design, to where it says Page Number. Click on that. Scroll down to current position. Plain number. Simple as that. Click on that. I'm good to go. Double click in the normal part of the page. And as you can see, I'm now good. And even if I get to the 150th page, it'll still be last name and the appropriate page number. So do that with all your essays. You'll have a very nice looking essay. It'll have a lot of credibility. Show that you know what you're doing. And just put your reader, and in this case your grader, uh, in a much better state of mind. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. If you have questions, let me know. But if you follow these directions, I have faith you'll be able to figure it out. Okay, thanks.